This episode of Interesting to Know is dedicated to the mining and production of platinum metals. The high cost of platinum and other platinum group metals can be explained by their high practical value and the costly and complicated production process. Platinum, iridium, and palladium can be found in the form of nuggets, albeit very seldom. Osmium, rhodium, and ruthenium, on the other hand, are never found in the bubbles of the earth in their pure form. Just like many other metals, platinoids are produced in three stages – ore mining, ore processing, and ore refining, which is essentially a chemical purification of the noble metals from other elements. Major platinum ore deposits are located on the territories of South Africa and Russia, and, according to the expert's estimate, provided that the mining rates stay at the current level, they will last us for another hundred years. Methods of mining – surface, underground, or a combination of the two – depends on the nature of the deposit. For placer deposits, surface mining is the method of choice. First of all, the overburden, a layer of soil, is removed. Then the rocks containing interspersed precious metals are extracted with the aid of special quarry machinery. The largest placer deposit of platinum in Russia is located in Khabarovsk Krai. It is called Kandior Mine, and it is developed by the Amor Mining Crew, a company that holds a membership in the Russian Platinum Group. In protogenous deposits, where the ore lies deep, the underground mining is used, which requires a process of mine construction. Rocks containing ore are separated from the rock mass by explosions and then transported up the mining shafts and lifted to the surface. This is the way the ore is mined in Taimir by Nor Nickel, Russia's leading platinum producer and one of Krastsvetmet's key suppliers. Depending on the deposit, mined ore contains only 1 to 6 grams of platinoids per ton. For this reason, it then undergoes a beneficiation process in order to significantly increase the amount of precious metal within the mass. The end product is a concentrate containing up to 60% of platinoids. In the form of finely milled powder, this material is then taken to refinery for further chemical purification. Beneficiated concentrate and other various products that are made during the refining process are subjected to high temperatures and are treated with aggressive reagents such as acids, alkalis, oxidizers, and other chemical agents. The end product of refining is pure precious metals that may come in various forms – powder, bullions, granules, or chemical compounds. This is how, from an enormous volume of ore, with only thousands of 1% of the mass containing the precious metal, comes a practically pure metal of fineness no lower than 999. Krastsvetmet is one of the world's largest producers of the platinum group metals. It is the only company in Russia that produces all six platinoids. In the following episodes, we will discuss the mining and production of gold and silver.